What's cracking? Josh here with the Pride Productions back in UE4 with an eighth Minecraft style tutorial. And we're going to talk about setting up our toolbar selection today. So when we scroll the mouse wheel up and down, it lights up one of those boxes down there. That way we can make decisions based off of that later, like which block is in the box, dirt or grass, or whatever. Or we'll make a little material, and then we're going to coat it in there the way we want to. It's pretty neat. It's pretty easy. But let's jump right into it. You know what I'm talking about. Now, the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need a material. But the thing is, all we're going to do is we're going to change the material we already have. Now, we have one called TBM. Right, if you double click on that, that's the material for the box. Well, I'm literally just gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it the easy way, bro. I'm gonna right click, duplicate, and what I could do is I could literally just uh, let's uh, let's get rid of that one, let's add another uh, underscore, bro, and I'm gonna type in select. Okay, so that means that's the one that's gonna be selected, and I'm just gonna make a couple changes. So, what I want is instead of this being uh, like a pale, a pale, a pale uh, white, it's gonna be like a, it's gonna be a yeller. Like a like a little a faint yeller, you know what I'm talking about. So it's gonna be a yeller, a little bit of a make it pretty bright. I'm gonna make it pretty bright. I ain't gonna lie to you. Make it make it make it pretty bright. Make it pretty white. Make it pretty yeller. But also, I want the box to be like a little bit thicker. You know what I'm talking? Kind of like this. And what's going on there is I can change this. Check it out. If I go to the point two and set it to point three, watch what happens. You can see it got a little thinner, right? Let's set it to point one. Okay, it got a little thicker. Let's set it to point zero five, bro. Okay, you know what I'm talking about? So a little more of a gradient, and if you don't like that, you could set it down to zero, and you could see what it would look like regularly. But I, 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 want, I want the gradient to be kind of not there. So we'll do a .05, and now what we have is a second material to use as a select. So whatever one is highlighted is the one that we're using, kind of like with Minecraft. And it probably looks a little different in Minecraft, but that's not what's, that's, that's not what's important, bro. It's not what's important. We we'll should get it done. So like I said, if you're playing here, you see that all eight of these boxes are white. When we scroll the mouse wheel up and down, I actually want one to light up. And we want to start with the one all the way on the left here. If you look all the way on the left, we want this one first to be lit up first. It just, you know, by uh, by default. You know what I mean? Like, so that one. And that's going to be our grass block. Now, we have it set up to where if we press 1, we have a grass block. If we press 2, we have a dirt block. Well, we're going to change that. We're going to have to change that code because now it's going to be based off which one of these is lit up, right? So let's jump into that. Okay, so I'm in my, for my uh, first person blueprint here. And what we're going to need is we're going to need an integer. Okay, we're going to need an integer variable, and it's going to be a select int. That's what I call them. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna name it um, toolbar select int. Boom. And what that thing's gonna do is gonna help us decide which box is selected based our mouse wheel. So we're gonna just drag it in. I'm gonna get it. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm going to add. So find the find the plus sign. Find the little plus sign. Integers plus integer. And then we're gonna set it. You know what I'm talking about? And that's it. So you've got it set up right here. Right? We're gonna need the exact opposite down here below it. So check it out. Do this, but now add a negative one to it. Okay? You got that? Couple couple little couple little nodes there. We're gonna need the mouse wheel now. You can actually just type in them. Type in the mouse wheel, bro, and you have the up and the down. Now, obviously, the up, I'm going to add to it, and then I'm going to type in mouse wheel one more again, bro, and I'm going I'm to find the down. You know what I'm saying? So what we're going to be doing is making this go up and down. Now, before we go any further, just hold on. There's one little thing we need to do. Drag these both down here just a little bit. Make a little bit of room, okay? Because what we want to do is we want to clamp it, right? That's one thing that we didn't do yet. So after we add it, before you go in here, CTRL, grab it, put it right here, type in the word clamp, honey. Type in the word clamp, and we need it to be between zero and seven. And now, now I, I, I understand. The thing is, it's going to use zero. So we're gonna have to use zero. And since we have eight toolbars, one through eight is the same, or, or toolbar boxes. One through eight is the same as zero, zero through seven. So let's copy and paste that thing right here. CTRL, just grab it, put it in right there. And now, basically, we, what we could do is just to make sure that part is working, we could have a print string here, right? And plug both of these sets that we have, both the sets into that. Now the thing is, what you'd want to do is grab your grab your integer here, grab your little toolbar select in, plug it in there, boom. And what we're just going to do now is scroll the mouse up and down and look on the left side of the screen and see if the numbers are working. Okay, so we're in here. If I scroll up, you can see that it's adding to it, right? It's adding, and then there's a bunch of sevens, and then if I start scrolling back down, it's going back down, but it's not going... I can sit here and scroll forever, and it's stuck on seven. If I go the other way, it's stuck on zero. So the point is, it's scrolling back and forth between eight spots over there with the math, but it's not going any further because we clamped it. And again, I know it's set to zero through seven, but like I said, we have eight boxes down here, so we want to we wanna make up for those. So we can get rid of this print string now and keep going. Now here's the next thing we're gonna do. We're gonna need our master HUD, right? And what we need is to grab the toolbar HUD that was inside there, because that's a variable, right? So if you type in the word toolbar, 
You type in the word toolbar, bro, you can get the toolbar widget in, 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 as well. Now, for y'all that haven't watched all the other tutorials, I really recommend it. I mean, you absolutely have to do that. But we named all these T1, T2, T3, T4, and you can see them being selected there. I'm going to move this over because UE4 didn't know how we do for whatever reason, and now I'm pissed, but I'm going to go to T1. I can type in T1, and I can get it. And then I can go down here, and I can type in T2, and I can get it. Now, you're going to need all eight of those, so go ahead and grab all eight of those now. Ta-da, now we got all eight of these bad babies. And now you can now you can see that I'm just kind of putting it after this. And I know that's a lot of a mess. So if you want to do something like this and kind of like make yourself some, you know, where your wires are going to come down here a little bit, that's fine. We got our scroll up and down here. And then we got all our eight, our bad babies right here. And I want you to drag off just T1, okay? I want you to type in the word select, right? We're going to get a select node. Now here's the thing. We're going to use this toolbar index int as our index, our wild card. Now we're going to need eight of these. You got two. We need three, four, five, six, seven seven, eight. We're going to drag this thing out of the way. And now you need to plug all these bad babies in here, right? So you got all eight of these. And basically we're going to select something from all these based off what number this index is. And again, that index, which is the, which is, oh God, oh, oh God, get in there, bro. Get in there. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid to go inside of it. And the point is we're going to be making these decisions based off of what this is. So check it out. So drag a line from the end of your select here and type in the word material. And you're going to see set brush from material. That's what we need. And what we need now is to go and grab our select material, go back in here, and put it in this bad baby. Okay? Now that is what's going on here. Now we need both of these. We need both of these right here. These little, these little add and subtracts, little add and subtractions. We need both of those to go in here. Now, you're thinking, I don't really understand this because they're all just going to start turning yellow. And you're exactly right. So as I slowly scroll through those, they're just going to start turning yellow one at a time. So check it out. And that's going to be a problem, but I'm going to show you how to fix it. So check it out. Now that we're in here, I'm on the screen. If I scroll the mouse wheel up, I scroll it up, I scroll it up, I scroll it up, and I can scroll it down. And I got all the way back to zero, but you can tell they're not turning back to white, and it's, 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 it's not really working. So basically the point is, it's, one isn't lit up by default, zero, which is zero. But if I scroll up one, if I scroll up one, it'll go to one, which means it clicks T2. And you can see how that works. So if I scroll back down to zero, boom, worked, okay? I scroll back up to one, nothing happened. But obviously because it's already yellow and then you're just scrolling through them. And I'm doing that via the mouse wheel. But that's not exactly working. So, I mean, basically we're going to have to do like a little, a little trick here. And this is actually kind of interesting how I'm going to do this. But it's, to me it's kind of cheating. But you know what? It's going to work. So check this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this thing right here and I'm going to copy and paste it. I'm going to I'm gonna hold CTRL and grab these two wires and plug it in there. And then this is going to go in there. Okay, That's what we're going to do. But the thing is we need to actually turn all of them white before one turns yellow. So we can't use this. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to grab all these. Control C, Control V. Drag this thing way up here. Okay, And now this is all... This is all awkward looking, and I'm going to plug all these into the target, all of them. So basically, what's going to happen here is, and now this is a little, little, get a little, little sloppy, a little, get a little weird looking, but the point is, what I'm doing is I'm kind of tricking the system. Every time I scroll the mouse wheel, I'm going to turn all of them to the white one. So this says select. I want you to go grab TBM, the one that's not selected, and <clears throat> press the arrow there, boom. Up, up, wait. Number eight isn't plugged in there, homie. You got to go over there, boom. Now, you can make that look as clean as you want to, however you want to do it, that's fine. This this could have been done a lot better, I'm not going to lie to you. But what's going on now? Think about it. We're going to subtract or add the int, the toolbar select int. But then I'm immediately, before I decide which one of these is yellow based off of that int, first I'm going to immediately, and literally at light speed, at, at the exact same time, I'm going to turn all of them white. And what that's going to do is it's going to only select the one that needs to be yellow because the rest of them are already going to be white because it did it beforehand. So now if I scroll the mouse wheel, you can see that it's selecting which one I want. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know what I'm talking about? Got a little yellow box, honey. You know what I'm saying? Now, you might want to change your material a little bit, make sure, make your, make your yellow a little more yellow, you know, make it a little more emissive. Or, or bigger box, whatever you want to do there. But the point is, I'm scrolling the mouse wheel, and regardless, it's always stopping on one, st or starting on one, stopping on eight. And again, I use the ints zero through seven to make that happen. Now, <clears throat> there's a couple things we need to do to fix a couple of the bugs, right? One, as soon as you Alt-P, none of them are lit up, and you have to scroll your mouse wheel before any of them work. And that's simple. How we're going to do that is we're going to go into this toolbar, and we're going to grab the first one, and we're literally just going to go to our go to our back to our, main, to our content browser here collect the sel or select the select one bro <clears throat> click it and turn it on and basically what's going on now is it's going to start 
as the, the default. Okay, problem solved. You see what I did there? I literally just went in there and went ahead and set this one to immediately be yellow. That way we already have that problem solved. Now, here's the issue. When I'm when I'm clicking, I'm still using one and two to make all these things, make make all these changes. You know what I mean? That 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 that's what's going on here. One and two are still making all these changes, and one and two aren't really, really coordinating with this because if I scroll the mouse wheel it's not changing the block and I know we only have we should only have one and two set up but one and two when I press those buttons it ain't changing the it ain't changing the box you know what I'm saying bro it ain't changing the box collar and we, we got to have that happen so let's get that moving okay so back in the first person character we got this big old code over here right bro that's what I'm talking about well what we want to do now is and I know now check it out if you open up our MCBP we have the code here where we where we, we, we drew our map. We got the we got the noise and everything here. And again, if you haven't watched the other tutorials, you must do that if you want to know where we're at. But we have the one and two block that's changing this thing called block type int, which we're probably gonna get rid of. You know what I'm saying? Because what we need these is we need these inside of the first person character. So if you right click and click the number one, you grab that. Right click, kick the number two, grab that, get the number three. Go ahead and grab all eight of your first numbers, kinda like in Minecraft. Okay, so I got all set, all eight of my numbers here, bro. Now what I want to do is I want to drag in the toolbar select int and set it to the number it needs to be. That one, one is going to be zero, okay? Two is going to be one. And you understand why I'm doing that, right? Because we have eight different numbers, but we have to start with zero when it comes to the toolbar select. Or toolbar select. So, or the toolbar select int, if I may say. So go through now and make sure all these are organized. Three is two, four is three, five is 11. You get it. All right, guy, I got them all in here, but we're going to have to do a little organizing because we need all this to plug into this big section, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take all this, do a little organizing real fast. Let's drag this down here, okay? Let's make this all a little knitter, a little knitter, bro. And we'll bring these over here, yeah? And I'm going to bring this whole big thing over here, okay? Then we clean that up just a little bit. That's all we did. And we'll drag all these and put them up there a little bit. Now I'm going to drag this whole thing, move it down, move it down a little bit because what we need is we need all of these to also... Also, go into this bad baby right here. So plug all these into this sweet spot right there. All right, boom. All eight of my bad babies plugged in there. So if you press one or three or eight or whatever, it's going to select all of the T1 through T8, make them all white, and then based off the toolbar select int that you just changed via the number press, it'll select that one. Now, let's go back in there and see if the numbers also work with our scroll wheel. Okay, boom, we're in here. If I scroll the mouse wheel, I'll see that thing going up and down, in and out. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, the press, press the scroll down to zero, and I'll press like the, the seven or the five or the seven or the eight. It works. Boom, no problem. And then it'll scroll. So if I select like four and then I scroll it'll work if I, if I select eight and I scroll down it'll work but I scroll now here's the thing but if I press one or two you'll notice that one or two if you're pressing right now with me if you're following along one or two are not working why are one or two not working on me why are they not working I'm gonna tell you why bro calm down okay in the MCBP which we have here we have them set to do something else and now they're fighting over each other now let's delete these really quick just delete them or actually just unplug them just unplug them if you're worried and go back and try it again and boom, now all the numbers work, bro. I can, I can five, seven, one, five, or I can scroll up and down. So now, boom, all your numbers are working. So now we only need to do one more thing. We need to get rid of the one and two. Now I'm back in the Minecraft BP. Now if you look here, it's deciding that based off of this int we created, block type int, it's going to create either a grass block or a dirt block. Now again, I'm inside the, the Minecraft BP world now, right? But see, we don't want it to be based off this int. We need it to be based off this the toolbar select int, right? So we need to get our hands on that. We're gonna have to do that a certain way. So after we've done all this code here, you can see we got a little, just a little bit of code here. Right before we add our instance, just before that, we need to cast to the player. So check it out. Let's get the player character, bro. Let's get the player character and let's cast to your player. Now, you may I'm using the first person. So I'm just typing cast to the first person character, honey. Okay. And I'm gonna plug this in right here. I'm just gonna plug this in right here because what we need to do is we need to get that variable. Okay. I'm we'll gonna plug that in here and then this is gonna go right in there. No problem. No problem. But this int is not the answer, bro. We need to get here. We need to type in get toolbar select int hummy. You know what I'm talking about? Now, what's cool about that is w w obviously we only have two selections, but ev eventually we'll have eight and we're already set up to have those eight, right? We created an int inside here that selects the toolbar and then the exact same amount of toolbar icons or tools we're actually going to have inside the tools, in inside the toolbox will work. Now, what's cool here is it's only going to select zero or one and if two, three, four, five, six, or seven are selected, it's not going to let us place a block or anything, which is actually what we want. So let's go check it out.
Okay, boom, we're in here, bro. Now, if I go to click, as you can see, the first one's selected there. Now, if I select like the fifth one or the, with the toolbar, you can see nothing's happening. Or if I select with, with, the, with the, I'm using the, uh, the keyboard now, four, nothing's happening. Or I'm gonna select one, okay, cool. Got the grass block, okay. I'm gonna select two on the keyboard, see it lit up, boom, it's dirt. Now, I'm gonna scroll out to three, scrolling out didn't work, scroll back down to two, I got the dirt, scroll back to one, grass. Guys, we're working, we're working in there. Now, we got the scroll bar. We can pick what block we wanna use based off the wheel or the numbers on your keyboard. You decide. I don't care. But the point is, based off the box that is lit up, we can we can we can get all kind of different type of type of uh, blocks, bro. Little dirts, little little grass dirts. Okay. But there's one problem when you exit, you're gonna get a bunch, and I mean a bunch of errors. Let me talk to you about how we can get rid of those. I'm gonna explain to what's happening and why you're getting those. Now, obviously your game isn't breaking, but it says that it's accessing none. So what you can do is you can click on this bad baby here, okay? And it's gonna show you where the problem is. It's basically saying when it goes to add an instance, it can't find one. And I'm gonna show you how we can fix that. What's going on here is if it's set to two, three, four, five, six, or seven, we do not have a block in that spot. Now, there's some times in the game you may not, and you don't wanna be limited to saying, hey, I've gotta have all those blocks filled up, bro, or it's not gonna work. Well, basically, all we need to do is we need to check and see if this value, what we're, what we're selecting, is valid. And that's it. All we need to do is see if it's valid, because if it's not, then we don't want it to add an instance. It's kinda like a branch. So what you can do is you can drag a line off here real quick, type in, is valid. And you'll see a couple is valids, bro. You want the question mark, bro. You get the question mark, bro. Now drag this over here and plug this into the this first and see if it's valid. If it's not valid, don't do anything. But if it is, yeah, add my instance. But this way it's not constantly trying to add one when it can't because again, right now if you select three, four, five or you scroll up past zero or one on this toolbar select in, we don't have a block selected for that, so it's not gonna select one, which means it's invalid. And if it's invalid, it's still trying to add an instance, and the computer's saying, we can't find an instance. Well, it's because there's not one. So check and see if it's valid first. Now, if you go back out here, we are finished, guys. I promise that's gonna fix it. We got our dirt blocks, okay? I'm gonna scroll up to the number two. I got all kind of dirt grass, with no grass blocks on the top with the dirt, spraying stuff everywhere, spraying my goodness all over the place. I got three selected, I got four selected. It's not doing anything. I'm I'm pressing numbers. I'm, I'm, I'm sending it back to two. I'm sending it back to one. I'm escaping, and there's no errors. And you're done. And we did it. We're, when we're soon with the su success, okay? It's success. Now we have our toolbar. And with the toolbar, not only do we just have it set up to where, like, inside of the, the map BP, if you press one or two, it picks a block, but inside of... It, well, it's still inside of that blueprint, don't get me wrong, but based now, it's based off the player, which is an absolute must. This toolbar coincides with the blocks that are being selected. You know what that means, guys. Next, very soon, I can't say if we're doing it in the next Minecraft-style tutorial, but what we're about to do next really, really soon, and we might. We might be the next one. It might be the one after that. We're going to, I'm going to show you how to make block thumbnails. I'm going to show you how to make them, and then what we're going to do is we're going to set them inside there based off, you know, we're going to set them inside. just going to show you how we can make the thumbnail and put the image inside there because Guys, if you remember, if we go inside of our, uh, if we go inside of our, our, uh, not the master HUD, bro, not the master, but if you go inside the toolbar HUD, we added overlays here. We added overlays on every one of these size boxes. And again, guys, if you have not watched all the recent tutorials, you're not going to know what's going on here. Unless you're familiar with UE4. You're familiar with UE4. You, I'm sure you're fine. But if you're not, you're going to be lost. So make sure you check out the older tutorials. This is the eighth one in the series. And this one, you kind of need to go in order. But the overlays are going to add it to where we can add block images inside there. So I'm going to teach you how to make a thumbnail with the block and put those in there. You know what I'm saying? So you actually, well, well we had to play our game, walk around here, and actually one and two will have a little grass block and a little dirt block, bro. And then you can go on and make as many as you want but obviously we'll, we'll, get, we'll get further into it that way it knows which block slowly but surely based off which ones you picked up blah 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 adding text so you only have so many blocks if you run out you can't put any more you know how minecraft works bro we got all kind of stuff to do but my god do we have a start absolutely we got all kind of now here's a bug just showing you guys a bug i mean but let's say you got a grass block there but then i want a dirt block oh ho, ho. see what i did there and then i want to i want a grass block again can't do it you know what i'm saying and i'm breaking it i'm i'm i'm, I'm I'm broken. Now, the point is that's because we haven't done stuff like that, guys. We haven't even got into that. We haven't made it to where there's no way for you to set a block inside of another block. I mean, you can go and do it all you want. You, know, you just accidentally set it inside there, and then it's broken. You know what I'm talking? But, guys, we're, we're getting there. Don't worry. We got all kind of little stuff we're working on. 
So far, so good, though, right? Everything we fixed, everything we've done so far works fine. We got everything working, looking pretty good, not terrible. You know what I'm saying? The art looks good. The toolbar looks good. The selection is working, and we got a couple different blocks. So, guys, thanks for watching. We have the ninth Minecraft style tutorial coming really soon, so I'll see you guys soon. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to check them all out. Check out our Facebook, uh, the Pride Productions on Facebook. It'll keep you updated just in case you're not on YouTube much. We'll post the videos there as well. Uh, hit us up on SoundCloud or Bandcamp if you want to support us. We got free music, royalty free music, and then a couple EPs out. And the links are in the description. Deprived, capital D at the beginning, capital D at the end. We're all day, every day. We got some heavy music, some light music, some 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 gaming music, some film style music, and all kind of stuff coming. A new prototype in the works. But guys, thanks for watching. Love you, miss you. Until next time, peace.